Welcome to Hold My Beer. I can do that in one line of code. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, ale is not really a object oriented language. It's, um, well, the root foundation is Pascal. We have discussed this many times uh, on, on the channel. And uh, if we go back to the very first version of AL 30 something years ago, it was very Pascal like. Um, and then over time, we have gotten lots of different things that aren't really Pascal ish. Uh, some of it is syntax changes, some of it is behavioral changes uh, that doesn't match with Pascal uh, in, in any way, uh, but matches what we want to do with Business Central and with NAV and, and all, uh, whatever it was called. Um, and one of the things that we have gotten uh, lately in, in, in AL uh, is that text has become an object um and and that and that's the only of of the raw uh data type that has become an object uh, but it has uh, and that gives us some interesting syntax uh, possibilities anyway but let, let me let me I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here and uh, so i the inspiration for this was the other day I was I was doing something uh, I was working on on the simple object designer and um, I I needed to manipulate some text uh, but it's probably easier to to show than to explain uh, so I I have started a new app here and let's uh, let's create a variable t how about that. So what I had was that T was equal, and you probably recognize this. T was equal a, uh, in this case, a type and brackets and uh, and a size. So you can see that it's how, if, if we're going to define a field, that is how we specify the, the field type and the length in case this is text or a code. And um, the the challenge I had, challenge, but the the task I need to solve was that I needed the uh, the two hundred and fifty from this, and uh, I have, there's lots of different ways we could do this. Um, one way could be to create a regex. Uh, so we set up a pattern to find digits between this one and this one. Another um, could be like very classic uh, AL, uh, CAL, could be something like this that we will go and say that P1 is string post T of uh, this one, and then P2 is string pose T of that one, and then um, let's call it output, 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 um, would be, oh, put, put, output would be copy string T, and then it would be P1 plus one, because we don't want the brackets, and then we need the, the how long. So in this case, if this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is 89. So it will be P2 minus P1. So nine minus five, that's four, minus another one, that's, that is a one, right? Um, let's see if this works. Wow, what am I typing here? Uh, if you've been in the game for a long time, you've been working in NAV, uh, this looks completely normal. Uh, this has some advantages that because it's step by step, we can say that if P1 is zero, so we didn't find it, then we can decide not to continue or 
we get the uh, the copy string cannot be minus something uh, if those both are zero and then minus one. So so we we got the right result here. So hooray. Um, so that is that is fine. That's a, that's a great way to get this. Uh, nothing wrong with this. Um, we could do regex. I'm not going to do this here. Uh, there's another video on regex. If you haven't seen it, maybe you're not a subscriber. I would suggest becoming a subscriber. Um, you can just make it here and still say, hey, I was a 2022 subscriber. Anyway, um, you could do a regex. And, and and that might be overkill to set up the whole regex engine to extract this. Um, so what I I did was something else. Um, so let's actually get rid of that one for a second here. So so what I did, and he, here's the thing. So when I have T, I can I can do dot, and that's what I'm saying that that a text is an object. Well, but only if it's text variable because I couldn't do it would be pretty cool if I could do something like I have my text here and then I do dot. See that doesn't work. Then then it, now the AL thing gets uh, gets confused. So we cannot do typecasting that way around in, in AL yet. Um, so but I can do T dot. So let's let's think about this thing for a, for a reason uh, for a second. Um, that what we're actually interested in is that we want to slice this up. So I could do t dot split. So now I'm splitting this thing. So I uh, so so if we do this regular. Uh, then I would do this as x1, x, let's see, I don't know how many I need, x2, x3, let's see. So I could do, well, I actually, so I need an l1 for list, l2, and that would be a list of text. So let's say I want to split this guy. So now I, I, I have a list of the text and I, I specify this as the split character. So I should have two texts now. I should have one that just says text and one that says 250 and close square bracket. Um, so I could say that x1 is equal l1.get the second part, right? Now I have a text. So now I can go list two and then I can take X1, which is this. And I can go split again. And this time I want to split on the, the closing one. And what happens when you split and there's nothing really well, it will still give you, if you try to split this, it will it will give you two fifty in the in the first and a blank string in the second. Or actually, I don't think there will, there will be a second. Uh, but we could do that x two equal. Sorry. Uh, so we got a list, and then we can say that x. And in this case, I'm actually just going to do output because that's where we at now. Wow, output equal l2 dot get the first and let's message this out let's see if this runs or oh, maybe i should debug this uh, i cancel that let's put a debug on so we can follow along let's see what happens we got the debugger. So we do a split. Let's see what's in L1. We got the split as we think. We hit X1. Let's see what's in X1. There's 250. 
we do we do the next split let's see what's in l2 there is 250 and a blank and let's just hit a five and this runs multiple times because sometimes when you debug you, on open page get triggered more than once uh, uh i don't know why anyway we get the right result here so but all these are actually objects in different ways so we could actually take all this thing here so these basically these these four lines um and we could say that output equal t dot split and we split with the first and then we do dot and you see this works here so now we actually get the the param not parameters the the methods that are on the list because the list is also an object uh, so we can now do get two so now we have a string so we can do get and now this is a string so we can do another split we split this one and then we get one so split get split get split get split get and we get the 250 in one line of code this will of course only work in the case where we know that the brackets are in the text because if the brackets are not in the text this will fail somehow let's say that i want to split on an on an x here what did i do i lost my breakpoint that's fine let's see what happens then in this case it, it doesn't fail spectacular but it still fails um i it's probably better if i do i split on this one let's see if the the get two gets mad at us but the message here that if you know because you have other thing that is so now we get something oh there is a sorry that was if you yelled at me because there is an x in the text that's fair enough there's not a set in anyone z um so let's try that and see if we can we can break this thing there we go we got a debugger getting mad at us an invalid argument was passed to a list um, but if you know that your data is correct you can do these things and uh, i think that's pretty cool so even though al is not an object oriented language there's still part of it that works just like uh, that the, the what I'm showing here is just to to be clear that that what I've have shown here, um, if you come from a C sharp or JavaScript or Java or whatever background is, uh, that's normal. That's very natural. But if you come from a, the, the the old uh, nav world, this is this is new. This is exotic. Uh, but it only works on certain. Uh, types uh, so if I go back here and say well, let's create a decimal so D dot nothing um, if I create a code D dot nothing if I create a, uh, a date because this is D D dot nothing so it, it's on those new data type like dictionary and lists and it's on text. That's the only one of the old one that has been upgraded to object oriented syntax, so to speak. Um, 
I'll take it. Um, maybe uh, maybe we we'll, we'll get more in the future. I think the language will continue to to evolve, uh, and um, we are. I at some point uh, somebody told me, but that but you can't do that in Pascal. That is way too complicated to do in Pascal, uh, and it's, but I'm not programming in Pascal. I'm programming in AL. Yes, you know the 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 syntax of how you format an, an if statement is Pascal ish. Uh, the syntax of how you create a procedure is Pascal ish. Uh, case statement is Pascal ish, and and so on. But this is AL, and it's a totally different beast. Anyway enough chit chat on that uh try to connect stuff with a dot i think you'll like it and and when you're done with that you check out this video lots of good stuff in that one too i'll see you there take care bye